Medicines for Children. Practical and reliable advice about giving medicine to your child. How to give a liquid medicine through a nasogastric tube, NG tube. It is very important that you are happy and confident to give medicines to your child. This film will show you how to give a liquid medicine to your child through a nasogastric tube. A nasogastric tube is often abbreviated to NG tube. You should watch the film all the way through to the end before giving the medicine for the first time. To administer this medicine, you will need a syringe and test strip to check that the NG tube is in place, the bottle of liquid medicine and an enteral syringe. To flush the tube first, you will also need a second syringe and a glass of water. Wash your hands with soap and hot water before starting. The first thing to do is check the label to make sure you know which medicine you're about to give and also check when it expires. This is especially important if you have more than one medicine to give. The label will have the name of the medicine, the strength, the amount to give and your child's name. For older children, you can explain what you are going to do to help reassure them. Before giving the medicine, you will need to check the placement of the NG tube. Attach a 50 or 60 mil syringe to the NG tube and draw back gently until you get stomach acid in the syringe. Take a test strip and dab the stomach acid onto the test strip and ensure it tests as you have been trained. You will need to refer to your child's care plan. Getting the dose into the syringe can be a tricky business. Some bottles come with special rubber bungs which fit into the top of the medicine bottle. In this instance, we are using a bottle without a bung and will be drawing the medicine directly from the bottle. Firstly, you need to shake the bottle well, making sure the cap is firmly on. Remove the cap and place the bottle the right way up on a flat surface. You need to ensure that the syringe is clear of any liquid before administration. This happens automatically if you're using a medicine bottle with a bung. Put the tip of the syringe into the opening of the bottle making sure it's in the liquid. Pull the plunger back until you've drawn the right amount of medicine into the syringe. Alternatively, you can pour a little of the medicine into a measuring cup and draw up the amount you need from there. You need to check again that you have the correct amount of medicine. If it is too much, you can squirt some back into the bottle. Once you are sure you have the correct amount of the medicine, you can start the flush. If your child's tube is being used for a feed, then you must stop the feed and flush the tube with water before giving the medicine. The amount of water used to flush between feeds and medicines is individual to your child. Speak to your doctor and specialist nurses to clarify this. If you have an NG tube without a clamp, you need to hold the tip of the tube above the stomach to prevent you losing liquid from the tube. After flushing, attach the syringe containing the medicine to the tube and gently push the liquid into the tube. Now, disconnect the syringe containing the medicine and reconnect to flush the medicine through the tube. If your child is due another medicine at the same time, this can be given now. You should flush the tube between each medicine with water, although this could be dependent on your child's needs. Speak to your doctor and specialist nurses to clarify this. If you are using a reusable syringe, once you have given the dose, wash the syringe straight away using fresh soapy water. Draw the plunger in and out in the soapy water several times, then rinse the syringe in clean water in the same way. If you are using a single-use syringe, discard this. If the medicine bottle has a rubber bung, you can usually keep it in the bottle all the time and put the cap over it between doses to keep it clean. You just need to wipe the top of the bung with a damp paper towel each time after you've given the medicine. Some bungs need to be removed from the bottle and washed before and after each use, but you can check this with your pharmacist. If you have any questions about this or are not sure about anything, then ask your doctor, pharmacist or nurse for advice. Medicines for Children is a partnership project of the national children's charity Well Child, the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health and the Neonatal and Paediatric Pharmacists Group. You can find our information leaflets and more films about giving medicines to children on our website www.medicinesforchildren.org.uk